and we're back. Uh, this is Azam Point Driver with Dark Souls. We're back in the painted world. Uh, there was a path that I didn't take and I kind of neglected. It's also a shortcut to the to the end of it, kind of. Um, but we got to go through an undead dragon, which is not always particularly easy. Uh, we do get a cool shield here. We can get a cool shield here. Blood shield. And I'm going to run away. Uh, like the other undead dragon that I kind of failed at fighting, sort of. Um, it, it's going to mostly stay in one spot and try and breathe poison on you. So, one option that you have to fight them is to just find a nice place to stand. Sand, yeah. Find a nice place to stand and uh, just fill them with arrows. I mean, it's not exactly a efficient way to do this, but there, it's a pretty risk-free way to do it. Um, I'm going to try going power within and going all, you know, crazy on him. Uh, let's see how this works. I'll try to get him to breathe over here. And then... Attack him like mad. Oh shoot, I, didn't, I meant to move. That was me not moving. This one's nice because you have some options for moving you know, away from him, kind of thing. Hang out. Hey. Not particularly hard, but... That's scary. I was gonna say, I think I can get a... Dragon Scale. Alright. And then, over here is this really weird thing that's been here for since the beginning of time. And it, basically what it is, to my understanding, is it's the lower half of the Undead Dragon. I think a jumping attack makes it stand up, yeah. Jumping attack makes it stand up and get out of the way. Now, down here is going to be... There's still going to be that, uh... Berkeley Knight? I don't know what it's called. They're the... Really big guys. Oh, he was chasing me. <laughs> so that means he's way over there. Oh, I got shot. Oh, well, I was... Just, oh, I got shot again. Maybe this isn't the best idea. I wonder if that guy's gonna follow me all the way over here. He is. Wow. I completely mistimed and misread that. Well, anyway, I just wanted to show getting, killing the guy and, and getting back. Um, I'm gonna go grab my souls and I'm gonna meet you out of the painted world. I'll see you in a second. Alright, we're back in Firelink now. And I brought back the Astora Straight Sword. Way back in the end of the game, because I want to see if this is actually a viable weapon. I'm headed towards the uh, graveyard and then eventually the uh, what's it called? The catacombs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the reason, the whole reason why I think it might be a viable weapon, is that the I'm just going past these guys. I don't need to fight them. Um, is that there are Enemies here that will respawn unless you kill them with a with a divine weapon. And I don't have a divine weapon, um, so th except for this, this is a divine weapon. So I was thinking that maybe this might just prove itself worthwhile. A lot of these guys can just be run by without too much issue, but not all of them. All right, so how do you work? Backstab works. I don't know. This first second is pretty easy because I can just run to kill this guy. Oh, he's in my way. Uh, basically, to get these guys to stop respawning so much without a divine weapon, you have to kill the non respawning uh, summoner. Yeah. I'll pull the lever. Why not? Get this done. Um, you don't. You don't have to have a divine weapon. There really aren't so many of these guys that you can't. You just simply can't deal with them. Um, 
but if you prefer to go through areas slowly instead of running past them, which has usually been my method, then I definitely recommend picking up a divine weapon and just killing these guys as you go. Um, if you don't have a divine weapon, they will rebuild themselves and kill you. I'm actually going to go through this area. You can make a great shortcut leap here and not have to... You're not... Oh, shoot. I think all these guys are based on that one. Oh, shoot. I am surrounded. Wow, this really does not do much damage. <sighs> That's a shame. Wow. Oh my god, he, uh, reposted me. I did not even think that that was in their moveset. Fine. Okay, so they all died. That was mildly embarrassing. Well, oh well. So what? So, what I'm getting is that... Well, I certainly can kill them with with this. Certainly not the most efficient way. Um, the toughest thing is that the divine weapons get bonuses from faith. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't have a lot of faith. I still have my base faith from being a cleric, but other than that, I really don't have that much. Yeah, I decided that uh, getting mobbed like that was way too embarrassing, so I'm gonna just... I don't like picking up items. So I'm just gonna kill more more of these guys as I go. It's not that bad. I mean, you can see the damage I'm doing is nowhere near uh, as I am with the Claymore. But seeing as that they don't come back, it's still worth it to me. And they're fun to break. I don't know. I, I don't know, I, somehow I just get a kick out of watching them break and pull themselves back together. It's amusing to me. Uh, this area is not too challenging. You just gotta get used to the idea of these, uh, you know, these, these bridges that are not stable. And these skulls that like to explode. They're usually not... Oh, and statues of statues. The, the exploding skulls usually aren't that bad to deal with. You just get away from them because they will. In my experience, I have more problems with them knocking me off ledges than I have with them uh, killing me with damage. That and they under interrupt your guard, which isn't much fun either. But I didn't. Did I need to come over here? I get lost in this area a little bit. Most because usually I don't even go through it anymore. Well. More recently. Oh, there's a level. Okay. I, I got to have it not going through it and just shortcutting through most of it. Um, not a huge fan of, of all the drops. You know, or I'll, um, sometimes it's, it's more useful to go through backwards because there are fewer, uh, jerks. I don't know. Is this one going one? Am I going to die? I don't remember. It's one of these bridges that, that you can get trapped in. Because Patches is a jerk. But I don't remember if that's I don't I don't remember a lot of things. <laughs> do I wanna go this way? I kinda do and I kinda don't. You can fall through this corner here. And I don't remember if that's something I want to do right now or not. I'm kind of leaning towards not because I know there's a uh, something summoner guy semi nearby, and I'm always a fan of killing those guys first. There's a locked door. Okay, I forgot. It takes a little step forward for that. It's not quite the long sword move set. You're over here, aren't you? See, I, I modified my equipment a little bit. Oh, he's not over here. Uh, you're over here. 
so that I could have both the claymore and the uh, and the the store of sword at the same time. It's really not necessary, but I figured I might as well save me some panic stuff later. I'm still kind of bummed that I died to that stupid is it a Brooklyn Knight or Burkle? Yeah. This is an area that has a lot of branching pathways. And a lot of them are important to go through. There you are. I really want to get this guy's drop, but he's not being cooperative. Uh, they dropped the Skull Lantern, of which I would love to have two of them. Because you, it's, good to ha it's a good thing to have um, in general, but it's a... It's a great thing to trade to uh, Snugly, because you get the Ring of Fog, which usually has to do Forest Covenant stuff for, which is a pain in the butt to me. Uh, Alright, do I want to make this drop now? I really don't. I really kind of don't. And there is a safe one over there. You know what? I'm going to jump down the hole. Just to, just to clear that out of my mind. Where is this guy? Where am I? Oh, this is where this is. This leads you to where these guys are. Good old friends, the, uh... The Crystal Wizards. So, like usual... Uh, don't kill them all, quit game. I knew there was a reason to go down some of those. I just couldn't remember what it was. Anyway. It should be right, yep, right there. I think there's only the two of them. If there's not, I'll I'll add an annotation or something. But let's see. I don't I don't I don't think there's more than two down there. I don't remember. Let's see. Now where am I? Now I am. Lost. Oh, that's right. More holes. Which brings me. Oh, back to here. Okay. I just wanted to start. Great detour to take. Seriously. And thank you for stabbing me in the eyes. Yeah, these skulls, you might remember, these are the skulls that, uh. Um. The guy. The. That weird blobby thing was spawning. So. Okay, nice little detour. So yes, definitely take that detour. I apologize for any uh, mixed messages I gave about it. Alright, so that, that way is blocked. Oh, aha. Over here, the fake wall that will stab you. The wall won't stab you. So the fake wall. The wall's not stabbing me, the statue's stabbing me. With a bonfire. Which I'm going to light. Eh, I'm not going to use it though. It's not worth it to bring back all the skeletons. I'm not going to gain any Estus Lusk from it. And more switches. More switches. So yeah. We're wrapping up, not wrapping up, we're, we're getting closer to the end game here. Maybe I should hit that. I honestly don't remember if this is one that goes badly for me. Fog gate! they break. It, I don't know why it amuses me so much. It's just so 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 comical and yet, I don't know, I like it. There's a little false wall here where the jerk is going to shoot arrows at you. And a jerk is going to shoot arrows at you that you can't immediately get to. Not good. Very not good.
forgot how much I missed the uh, lateral swings. Or just, you know, massively powerful attacks. I'm actually going to kill this guy now. There is a giant skeleton around the corner, so that's why I'm killing this guy now, because it gets really annoying. It doesn't do that much damage, but it gets really annoying having to deal with a guy shooting you in the back. So. Okay, drop down. So I don't worry about that guy. Now, I believe that the big giant guys, um, do not respawn. Alright, there you are. I was gonna say, I do have a big giant guy somewhere. Didn't know where. Ha! One hit kill. Yeah, I believe they don't respawn. Dark Moon Seance Ring. That is a very important item for a couple of reasons. Mostly because it allows you to access the Covenant. Noises. Where am I? Where am I? I... Apparently things are jumping off cliffs. This is an area I'm really, like, I know it all circles around to itself, but I can't look at one area and say, oh, I must be, you know, here. Nothing? Nothing for my troubles? Okay, so I can jump down there. I'm not going to do that. Up! Thank you for that. But I think I'm gonna... Is this going to take me to where the bonfire is? No, this is going to take me where there's an item sitting on a ledge. Maybe? No. Oh, a miracle. More dropping. Oh, where am I? Oh, I'm all the way back to the beginning. Uh, Alright then. Well, I think I'm going to work my way back to the bonfire. That I activated already. And I'm going the complete wrong way already. And I think I'm gonna call it a video here. Uh, yeah, the, the there are there are you can make a lot of these drops and they're 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 not a lot of them aren't too bad. But you need to be a little careful because you can if you don't have levers pressed, you may end up stuck somewhere you didn't think you were going to get stuck. Did I just do something stupid? No, not too bad. But it's not too bad. I don't know why I always get stabbed there. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, this has been Aiden Boy Driver. Thanks for watching Dark Souls.